All right guys, so here's the problem. I stuck a CD in my CD player and now my CD player won't give it back to me. I see my eat my ice cream. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna get my CD back. And just to let you know what it's doing, if I hit my eject button here, it says that it's ejecting. But obviously it's not. So something's going on in here. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is take this whole dash assembly here off. So you take this rubber thing out here, pull this out, and uh, from what I've seen, this whole thing will, will just fold forward or fall forward, I guess. Uh, so the tools I'm going to be using today, it's a, just a regular screwdriver with uh, interchangeable ends, a uh, couple of Torx wrenches. Uh, this is a T15 and this is a T10. Uh, of course, my little uh, driver there. I'll need a flathead bit, uh, precision screwdriver Phillips, and a 7 millimeter socket, and something I can use to wedge in there and uh, do things that I need to do that I don't that I don't want to use that because that'll leave uh, scar marks all, all over the plastic. So uh, those are my tools. I'm going to first start by pulling this little piece of rubber out of here, just like that. And there are my Torx screws. These are the number 15 Torx. Take that one loose. I hope they have magnetic. Driver. Like that one loose. Now, get the trusty tool here. And basically, I'm just wedging this in here. There's going to be little clips to hold this in. Just got to pop those loose, and then that comes right out. So that's there. I think now all I have to do is kind of coax it out. And that's it. Uh, there's a couple of clips. You can see uh, down here there's a clip hole. We can't see down there because it's too dark. Uh, there's a clip hole up here, up here, and then all of these, uh, these uh, clips here go into them. And that's all you have to do is pull that out. Now I need to take the stereo out. There's uh, four screws here and those are going to be the seven millimeter oh so I'm gonna get the screws out of there Okay, now that we've got that out, <clears throat> we're not going to need, we're not going to need that for the rest of it, I don't think, and we shouldn't need that number 15 Torx, but what we do need to do is go ahead and slide this out, and we're going to have some wires behind it. We've got... Show you. We've got the uh, antenna, the analog antenna, the uh, digital antenna for a Sirius radio, a satellite radio, and uh, the speakers and power and all that stuff plugs in there. Uh, all of these are just held in by uh, these clips like this here. Um, you just pinch that, pull it loose, and uh, just take those out. Okay. <clears throat> 
Now that we got those out, um, I kind of messed up my Sirius F, uh, XM when my uh, satellite receiver uh, is supposed to still have that little receiver end. I accidentally pulled the whole thing off. Uh, I don't care. I don't listen to satellite radio. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to have to do is uh, take this plate off. And this plate's just held on by little friction clips. So this is where the flathead screwdriver comes in, in handy. Uh, so I'm going to get this. So you get your flathead screwdriver. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to pry this loose. You can pull this tab here up while you're prying. But that's all you're trying to do is just pry this loose. And uh, do it on both sides. And then when it lets go, basically you should just be able to lift up on this. And that comes right off. Because that's all it's holding on. It's got clips up front on the side and then a couple on the back. Now we're into the compartment where the CD player is. So you're going to have uh, two bolts here holding it in, and it looks like I'm going to have to pull the face off of here uh, because there's going to be two more bolts holding this uh, CD player in from the front side. So, get my handy dandy tool out again. Here, Parker. Wedge yourself in there. I think I might be able to do that with just my hands. Gotta be careful you break your tabs, then you won't be able to put anything back together. But you got tabs on the front and bottom, or on the top and bottom. Got that one loose. I'm gonna work on that side, got that one. Pop up there. Oh, and that came off. So this goes together a lot like the, uh, Detachable face stereos. Uh, you just have that uh, plug here that plugs in right here, and uh, whenever it goes back on, you just got to make sure to plug it in and uh, put it back on the correct way. So now you see the two Torx head screws here. Uh, you kind of see the CD in there. Um, I will need to. These shouldn't be tight. So you should be able to just take these loose. Yep. So they're just finger tight. Pull that one out. Pull this one out. And you'll have this one here and this one here. And now the CD player should just lift right out. You're going to have a ribbon cable right here. This is, uh, this is what controls everything here. And it's got the little clips on it too. Um, it's a little hard to get to. So I'm going to pull it over here out of the way and reach down inside here. Unclip that. And, but the IDE cable goes in here and uh, this connects to it. They're also called ribbons. You know, ribbon cables all right now that we've got this off we need to get this off and get the cd out of there so you're going to have one two three four little bitty screws and that's what the precision screwdriver is for And again, you'll want to be careful taking this off because there's going to be wires in here. Um, I like to just take it, kind of set it to the side. And uh, there's a CD. Um, should be able 
You just take it out. Um, sometimes it, it could be stuck on the carriage. Uh, it, there's a number of things that could be wrong. Um, but right now, I've got it out. And that's, that's my goal, so I don't care why it was stuck. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of how this stuff works, but I don't even care because I'm not going to put the stuff back in. I'm not going to put a CD back in it. I am going to put this all back together and put it back in the truck. And basically, it's just a reverse operation to put everything back together. So if you ever get a CD stuck in your CD player, um, that's how you take it out.